The space program that's normally beyond reproach is now facing some shocking accusations. A disturbing new report details how two NASA astronauts were allowed to launch on two shuttle missions, despite posing a flight risk, according to doctors, because they were drunk. I think really it's inappropriate for us really to discuss this report and, until it's been released and then there's a press conference dedicated to this topic. The NASA panel which releases the report today was formed after a truly bizarre incident last February when astronaut Lisa Nowak was arrested after driving from Houston to Orlando to confront another female pilot in a reported lover's triangle. With regard to the findings of drinking and flying, former astronauts are stunned. I never saw this. I never saw anyone drink so much prior to launch that I would worry about them on launch day. The report does not name the astronauts or the missions. NASA, meanwhile, is also investigating possible sabotage by a subcontractor working on equipment headed for the International Space Station. There was some in, intentional damage done internal to a qual unit. Uh, we then inspected the flight unit and uh, determined that it, uh, some wires were cut on the inside of that unit. Um, it's currently being investigated by the Inspector General's office. There is no official NASA rule about drinking before flying, but astronauts are not expected to operate a plane or space vehicle within 12 hours of consuming alcohol. T.J. Winnick, ABC News, Washington.